So we're still backstage at the uh, Radio on Big Weekend with the lovely Edith Bauman. Hello. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, Colin wasn't very nice to me. He said I look like Kristen O'Connell. Who does Colin look like that we can say that? Uh, uh, a few people actually, uh, but some of them, most of them are pretty cool to be honest. Colin yeah. Farrell. Okay, that's Adrian cool. Brody. Um, a lot of people might though, however, say Pee Wee Herman. Pee Wee Herman. So you can throw Next, that one back at him if you want. I'm going to throw that back at him <laughs> yeah. right from you. I'm going to say, yeah. Edith says you look like Pee Wee Herman, and then I'm going to run. I can get away with it though, you see. <laughs> so this is, I mean, amazing. Yeah, Weather's it's been gorgeous, great. gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, it's just, we, we couldn't have asked for more, to be honest. It's kind of, it's pretty perfect. And yesterday was was really good fun, and, and today I kind of got on sight and saw the tail end of Justice, and seen a little bit of Pendulum there, and... Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's really exciting because it's kind of really grown momentum over the last few years. It's become a festival, really, and not just an event. So, uh, so yeah, we all get quite excited about it. Seems like the launch of the festival season. Yeah, yeah, it really is. And, and quite a few of the bands were saying that yesterday. It's kind of like, right, we're on and running. Do you know what I mean? It is, it very much feels like that because, you know, Glastonbury is only, um, you know, about a month away, just over a month away. So it kind of really gets everybody in the spirit. And I know a lot of the bands are, you know, we're, yesterday we're coming in from Europe and going back out there to start, you know, festival run and things so yeah it's nice to be that kind of big cross on the calendar for the start of the festival year as well as all the i mean this this not smaller acts but that you had one huge act so in comparison everyone else kind of seems a little bit madonna uh, i couldn't care about her to be honest really yeah no not... i didn't watch it i was you know, more interested in watching everything else that was going on no. um you know for me that the, it's about the variety of acts that we put on and about you know whether those be the unsigned acts up on the uh, the introducing stage or you know bands that are really coming through like black kids who opened in us we trust stage today and um yeah i mean i think th there's a better atmosphere on site today i would say just because it, everyone's less kind of oh quick we've got, everyone's got to be all right for her so you know it's amazing that she did it it's great for me to it's great for Radio 1 and stuff, but everyone's a bit more relaxed today. Apparently she had like four cars to get 70 her. people uh, she had with her. Apparently. Yeah, and apparently Guy Ritchie couldn't even get into her dressing room. That is some yeah. diva rich demand. Did she, did she request I don't know like, if that was her. I think it was something to do with there was a bit of a security uh, nightmare there. But Who's this guy here? He looks. Yeah, yeah. Who are you? I'm her husband. Yeah. No, sorry, you can't get in. Can't get in. Yeah. God, if that's not a, if that's not a VIP pass, <laughs> then what is, you know? Yeah.